Hey guys, and welcome into another lesson of Fantastic Verses. Today we're going to learn of how we can think things that we can do to show other people that we love them. You know, God doesn't want us to keep the love to ourselves. Once we realize how much God loves us, He wants us to show other people the same kind of love by the way we treat them. Also, don't forget about our mystery letters to figure out our mystery words at the end. But before we do all that, let's sing our songs. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Gonna let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Gonna hide it under a bushel. Oh, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna hide it under a bushel. Oh, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan pull it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let Satan it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Gonna let it shine from the mountain tops. I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna let it shine from the mountain tops. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. Here's today's memory verse. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. Luke 6.31 Let's say it again. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. Luke 6.31 Hey kids, Rupert Jones here. Hot on the trail of yet another fantastic verse. Today, I'm in a doctor's office. Don't worry. I'm feeling just fine, but I'm here to talk to a doctor, the doctor who wrote the Gospel of Acts. His name is Luke. Hello, I'm Dr. Luke. Hello, doctor. Have a seat on the table, please. The, the table? Yes, please. Uh, you can keep your weird clothes on. Okay. Why am I sitting? Open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. Everything looks fine in there. Uh, let me listen to your heart. Deep breaths, please. Sounds normal to me. Now, what seems to be the trouble? You mean my health? Nothing. I'm fit as a fiddle. You seem fit to me. I'm here to talk to you about your book. My book? Well, not the whole book. Just one fantastic verse. The one whose Jesus tells us how we should treat other people. Oh, you mean do to others as you want them to do to you. How did you know? Just a lucky guess. It's one of my favorite quotes too. Jesus loved us so much, how can we not turn around 
and love other people in the same way. I couldn't agree more, Doctor. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thanks for dropping by and being healthy. Makes my job much easier. Keep up the good work, Doc. I'm on my way to yet to find another fantastic verse. Bye. All right. Let's pretend for a minute that you have a sister. And let's say the two of you have finished your dinner and that both of you want dessert. Sister gets the dessert first and oh no, there's only one piece of pie left. So let me ask you a question. What would you want your sister to do? Would you want her to take the pie? Or would you want her to split it with you? We all want to be treated fairly. We all want to be treated with love. But do we always treat other people the same way we want to be treated? God wants us to treat others with kindness and love. He wants our first instinct to be to share. Not to take the whole pie for ourselves. He wants us to be generous and kind and loving as well. Loving others means thinking of others needs first. It's not always easy, but it's almost never convenient thing to do. But when we are willing to stop and love others, we can show them that Jesus loves them too. God sent Jesus to be our savior because he loves us very much. Let's share that love with other people so the love of Jesus can be spread. Let's say our memory verse again. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. Luke 6, 31. Hey kids, welcome back. Mr. Chip here from New Creation Community Church. And I got a good question for you. Has anyone ever said to you, that you were a good Samaritan. Or maybe someone in your family, they said, that they were a good Samaritan. Well, do you know what that really means? Hmm. Well, we're going to explore that a little bit in our scripture this week. So we're going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25. To 37. You have to listen closely on this one. Now, one day, an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Well, Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along. But when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, 
I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. So, getting back to my question, did, has anyone ever said that you were a good Samaritan? Well, in an instance like that, have you ever known somebody who was going through a hard time? Maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe a friendship had broken. Maybe a family member of a friend or in your own family, maybe somebody passed away. Or, I don't know, there could be many reasons why somebody would need help. Consoling because they were not happy. Well, the Samaritan in this story, well, you could easily be the Samaritan if you help someone else. It's not hard to do, but if you have compassion or you feel sympathy towards someone, and you want to help them get back to being, well, happier, and you, you can be a person that helps them. Think about a time when you've not felt the strongest. Maybe there was a bully at school. Think about if somebody around you saw that you were having troubles and they wanted to come over and help you. They asked you if you were all right or if they could help you maybe do something like help you study or maybe you didn't feel so good after you know a practice or your team lost. And a person came over and said, hey, I'll help you practice. Well, that person is what we call a good Samaritan. Someone who doesn't necessarily know our background and doesn't necessarily care about all the stuff around us. They just want to show that they care about you. Or you just want to show that you care about that person who's suffering. That's what a good Samaritan is. And, well, think about it. Even though the world is so big, we can have a neighbor right next door, or we could have a neighbor on the other side of the world because with the internet and and all the things around us now, we can help people across the world with encouragement, with prayers, and it's always nicer, I think, when you can meet them face to face. Give them a hug or a handshake or a fist bump. So think about that this week. And, well, you can probably look for opportunities every day. That if you see somebody who looks like they could use a friend, quite possible they do. And you could be a good Samaritan to them. And just treat them nice. So think about that this week and every week. Back to you, Mr. Sean. 
Thank you, Mr. Chip. We appreciate you reading that Bible story for us today. What did the Samaritan do for the man in need? He helped the man. He picked the man up and he took him to an inn and he took care of his wounds. What sacrifices did the Samaritan make to help the man? He paid the innkeeper out of his own money. He went out of his way. He was kind to him. How did the Samaritan live out the golden rule? Like treating others as we would want them to treat us. Well, he was kind to him. And in turn, that's the way we want others to treat him. You know, if the Samaritan was beaten up, he would want his enemies or whoever to come along to help him as well. What are some ways that we can treat others how we want to be treated this week? We can maybe help them get their food or maybe pay for their lunch if they don't have money. Or we can take their tray up for them. Or we can get them an extra snack. Or we can hold the door open for them. Is there someone in need right now that you can think of that needs to show that you need to show them the love of Jesus? Think of that person in your mind. Maybe it's the person who picks on you all the time. I've always went by the phrase, kill them with kindness. Because when you kill them with kindness, it always softens their heart. So be kind to others this week. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Be kind to them. Open up doors for them. Maybe pay for their lunch. Or maybe give them a band-aid if they scrape their knee or scrape their elbow. Help them out. Show them love and kindness today. Share with them your generosity and how much God has blessed you. Share with them that today. Share with them what God has blessed you with today and this week. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for who you are. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you will help us find that person who we can be kind to. Help us to be kind to one another because you are kind to us. Help them, help us to love other people because you love us. Thank you for loving us so much, Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let's sing our last song. Who loves the Lord? 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 I love the Lord. 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 I praise His name. 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 I praise His name, I praise His name, I worship Him, 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 He died for me, 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 He died for me. He rose again, 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 he loves me so, 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 I love the Lord, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, 
I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. The words for today is love others. That's right, because we need to love others and put others' needs ahead of ours. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Love them this week, because that's the only way that we can soften a person's heart when they are down. Thank you for watching. Thank you for learning along with us today. Remember, you are important, you matter, and you are loved so much by God. Have a great week, and God bless.